So I'm in our first little garden. We call this the primitive garden. It's uh, built directly next to the swamp here, part of our wetland. You can see we have some goldenrod just starting to bloom. We have a mixture of grasses, but we've stuck a garden in here and we have corn. This is the first time I've ever somewhat successfully grown corn. It's not as big as the corn in the farmer's fields, but it's got tassels and it's still here. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. It's supposed to be rainbow corn, so we'll see. And then right here we have uh, a little sunflower. I stuck a whole bunch of rogue sunflower seeds in, uh, here and there at the ends of each of these poles that these beans are climbing up. These beans have done okay. They've not done as well as the beans that we have growing in uh, containers with fertilizer. Those beans have been fantastic. But for a swamp garden that got very little attention, I guess this is not that bad. Uh, we've also got squash. Here you can see one that has ruptured a little bit. And they're very hard to find when they're growing in a swamp like this, by the way. No kidding, right? Some of these things have been growing uh, hidden to the point where they're no longer good, so we wouldn't find them until they were obnoxious and, and bitter, like the cucumbers over here, which are now largely dying off, and I'm not even sure why. We put cardboard down, and then we put dirt on top, and then we put straw, several layers of uh, cut grass, um, and so it has very shallow roots and very poor fertilizer, and like I said, it got very little attention. It basically was left to do its own thing for the most part. We have tomatoes here, you can see. None of these have any support, and they're doing okay. They're not doing terrible. They've grown down to the ground, and then, come, then they come back up again. Um, we have some purple basil in here, and you can see it intermittent here and there. And it's doing quite well. Nothing's eating it. And then over here we have peppers, which have hardly grown. I don't see any buds. Oh, these ones have a little buds. So, oh, okay. Maybe we'll have some peppers soon. One or two, possibly. And then we have a decent sized little watermelon here and here and here here but they'll take quite a bit longer still <laughs> the squash beans and corn three sisters garden is doing okay it's interesting to see how it all grows together uh, the corn is in a row, so it's not really interspersed. It's not really allowing the beans to grow up it, but we can see the timing of it, I bet, on a better garden, will sync up and work beautifully. So, the cucumbers, they end up looking like this if you don't find them in time. They soaked up a bunch of water and then... Um, got very bloated and bitter quickly and changed. So they maybe were there in their prime for a few hours at some point in the night. I never would have seen it. Then we have a little surprise. This, the weird looking thing, is a trombone squash. And I have a whole bunch of them. And they're doing okay. They were supposed to climb on this trellis, but uh, we never got around to putting the netting on. So that didn't work out very well. I've attempted to stick some of the vines back up there. This is about a foot long already, and it's just going to keep growing. They grow several feet long. Um, and the longer you leave them, the more they go from becoming a summer squash to a winter squash, apparently. Zucchetta or tromboncino. So that's our little primitive garden. I hope you enjoyed the tour.